So you only have 15 minutes to show your mind and body some love. That's okay. My name is Bianca. I got you in this short flow. We're still going to build some heat, build some strength, challenge the core, and have a little bit of fun. Let's get started in a child's pose. Bring those knees nice and wide on your mat, big toes together to touch. Reach the arms forward, sink the head to the mat. No matter the reason you're short on time, you still showed up, you're here, so let's make the most of it. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out of the lungs. Another one just like that. Breathe in through the nose, fill all the way up. Exhale out the mouth. Let your next inhale bring you up to a tabletop position. And from here, we'll start by swinging the hips, the shoulders, the head, letting everything follow here. Just taking note of what your body is feeling in this moment. And from here, we'll go through some cat cows. Find some stillness here. Spread the fingers wide, press the tops of the feet into the mat, breathe in cow pose. Bring the gaze up, roll the tailbone up. Exhale, cat, tuck the chin towards the chest, roll the tailbone down, scoop that belly button in. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. Let's just do one more of those. Breathe it into your cow pose. Exhale, cat. Back to your tabletop position, tuck the toes, come into your downward facing dog, send those hips up. You're creating a triangle with your body in the mat. It's okay if the heels don't tips the mat here. But let's pedal out those legs. Bending one leg and then the other and noticing how the back sides of the legs are feeling here. What are you feeling in this moment? What are you needing in this flow? Feel free to adjust, add on, take anything away as needed. And now let's settle into this downward facing dog. We'll add some down dog twists. Take your left hand to grab the outside of your right ankle and twist that chest through underneath the armpit. Gaze towards the top of the ceiling, the top of the wall. And bring that left hand back to the mat. We'll do the other side. Right hand grabs the outside of that left ankle and twist that chest underneath. Pull that right shoulder through, chin towards your left armpit. Now release into your downward facing dog. Walk those feet behind the hands into your ragdoll pose. Feet are hips with distance. Grab onto opposite elbows and let's sway side to side again. Let the head and the cheeks be heavy. This is feeling too much in the hamstrings. You can find a deep bend in the knees here. One more breath in. And out. Walk your feet together to touch, hands to the mat, forward fold. Breathe in a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Sweep those arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Bring the hands to heart center. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back. Let's take our first chaturanga. You're welcome to take it from the knees. Shift it forward. Exhale, low plank, hugging the elbows in. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, gaze forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Let your breath guide your movement here. Inhale, the arms up, mountain pose. Exhale, hands together. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat, step back, flow through. Meet in that downward facing dog. Hold it here and breathe. Taking an inhale through the nose. Sighing it out the mouth. 
Another breath in. Exhale it out. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, knee towards your nose. Round the spine like your cat pose. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, bring it to your right elbow. Push the mat away through the hands. Inhale, right leg lifts. Bring it across the body towards the left elbow. We'll come into fall and triangle. Extend that right leg out. Right hand presses into the mat. Left arm up. Your left foot rolls to the big toe side. Gaze up, lift the hips up. One more breath. Exhale, hand to the mat. Sweep your right leg up and step it right in between the hands. That back heel stays lifted. Sweep the arms up. Crescent lunge. Push that right foot into the mat. That back heel is nice and high. Right knee directly over the ankle. Scoop the belly button in. Keep breathing. Inhale here. Exhale, warrior two. Pivot that back foot. Make sure that right foot and that right knee is pointing to the top of the mat. Don't let it cave in here. Take another breath in. Exhale, extended side angle. Fold over that bent leg. Left arm can reach up towards the ceiling or towards the top of the mat. Take any arm variation here. Breathe in, reverse your warrior. Lean back. Breathe here. Option to take an arm bind, wrapping that left arm behind the lower back. Another inhale. On the exhale, cartwheel the hands to the mat. Into standing splits. Shift your weight into that right foot, left leg lifts. You can tent your fingertips on the mat. This is feeling too much in that right leg. You can always bring your hands to blocks if you have blocks. You can always use stacks of books, whatever you need here. Keep breathing. Take another breath in. Exhale it out. And see if you can do this without your left foot touching the mat. Drive that left knee forward until you're in your one leg mountain pose. So that left leg is bent 90 degrees in front of you, arms up. Keep breathing. Exhale it out. From here, we're gonna come into a big toe hold, bringing that right hand towards your hips or your left face side and fingers to reach down and grab onto your left big toe. Hold it here. If you have trouble grabbing that, you can always use a strap. And from here, we'll extend that left leg out in front, keeping the chest nice and tall. Maybe today you're just working on this balance, keeping that leg bent. Otherwise, extend that leg out. Chest is tall, both legs are nice and straight. You're welcome to add any other variations. Maybe add a twist or bring that leg out towards the side. We're here for just another breath in. Exhale, release that foot, shake out the arms and legs. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat, step back, flow through your chaturanga. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Exhale it out. So how'd that feel on that side? We're gonna do the same exact thing, setting up the other side. Inhale that left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, rounding the spine, keeping that core nice and strong. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, bring it to your left elbow, shift forward slightly. Inhale, left leg lifts, and bring it across the body, hold. Come into that fallen triangle. Extend the left leg out, pivot that back foot, right arm reaches up. Keep the hips lifted, gaze up towards the ceiling. Neck is nice and long, take another breath in. Exhale, right hand to the mat. Left leg lifts, exhale, low lunge. Step that foot right in between the hands. Knee bent right over the ankle, back heels lifted, sweep the arms up, crescent lunge. I'll give you a moment here to breathe. Really giving myself a moment here to breathe. Take an inhale. Exhale it out. Nice work so far. Take another breath in. Exhale it out. Inhale. This time on your exhale, pivot that back foot, warrior two. Adjust the feet if needed. Gaze over those left fingertips. Breathe. Take another breath in. Exhale, extended side angle. 
fold over that bent leg, take any arm variation here. Keep those legs nice and strong, keeping that left knee bent. Inhale, reverse your warrior, breathe it in here. Feel that left side open up. We'll take another big breath in. Exhale, cartwheel the hands to the mat, come into your standing splits. Lifting that right leg up. Fingertips on the mat or blocks. Maybe that ankle's a little bit shaky. That's okay, we're building strength here through everything. Little muscles in the foot, the ankles, the calves, hamstrings, quads, everything is working here. The glutes. Got a little full body flow here. All right, without that right foot touching the mat, let's see if we can drive that right knee forward into our one leg mountain pose. And if it looks a little bit shaky, that's okay. Bend that right foot or that right leg 90 degrees. Keep breathing. And then we're gonna come into that big toe hold. Left hand towards your hips, right piece sign fingers, grab onto your big toe, or you can wrap a strap around the sole of your foot. First, work on lifting the chest, hold it here. This is challenging enough, you can stay here. If you want, you can extend that leg out in front of you. Keeping the chest lifted, gazing forward, finding your focus. You can hold it here, or again, you can add any twists or bringing your legs out to the side. Whatever is in your flow, whatever is calling your attention, take it here, keep breathing. We'll take another breath in, exhale, shake out the legs, the arms, <laughs> nice work. Inhale, mountain pose, big breath in. Exhale, fold, bring it to the mat. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat, step back, flow through. Nice. Inhale, right leg lift. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, low lunge. From here, we're gonna come into a side plank variation. So we already did fall in triangle. This time we're gonna add a big toe hold. If that was a little too much while you were standing, then you can just hold your foot close to your body or you can come down to your forearm. Let's try it out. You'll use your peace sign fingers to grab that big toe, pivot that back foot. First start by twisting the hips. See if you can lift that foot. Maybe today you're just working on this right here. If you wanna add on, you can extend that leg up towards the ceiling, pushing the mat away, lifting the hips up. Keep breathing. Let your body shake. And we'll release into a wild thing, stepping that right foot behind you. Left leg stays straight. Reach the right hand towards the top of the mat, lift the hips up. Take a breath in, exhale. Back to your downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. Just one more side here. Challenging the mind, challenging the body. And then we'll wind it down, lift that left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, low lunge. Let's go for that big toe hold. Grab onto that left big toe. Right hand presses into the mat. Swivel that back foot. Again, start off here. Maybe that's challenging enough. You're welcome to drop down to the forearm. Otherwise, lift that leg up, push the mat away, gaze up, keep breathing. We release into that wild thing, landing that left foot behind, reaching that hand forward, lifting the hips up into your downward facing dog. Now let's bring it right back to where we started, into that child's pose. How you feeling? Obviously, this child's pose feels much different than the first one. Take a moment to acknowledge how much hard work you can put into a short amount of time. You did that, you showed up, you did a great job. Your body is happy, your mind is happy. Find some gratitude there. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale it out. Another deep breath in, exhale it out. 
You're welcome to stay here or in any other restorative pose. Otherwise, let's come to a seated position. Wiping all the sweat off, maybe you're sweaty too. Thank you so much for joining me today. Even if you're in a hurry or you just needed something short and sweet, I appreciate you stopping and taking the time to move your body, to tune into your breath. If you have 15 extra minutes, maybe you take a wind down class. Otherwise, I hope to see you again soon. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Thank you.